Hi, welcome to CUTV in Montreal. Uh, we're here for Fantasia with uh, the director of the Angry Video Game Nerd. Please state your name for the record, sir. Uh, my name is Kevin Finn, co-director with my buddy James Rolfe. What was the story about? I felt like just watching this film that it was more of a, a love letter to the fans. Yeah. And like a little bit of side about, you know, gaming. So like, what, what did you think the story was really about? What, like, what was the purpose of this film that couldn't have been done in like the, the series? Yeah, I think I think it was just to get the nerd out of um, out of the basement. You know what I mean, and send him on like a big nerdy quest. You know, so it, it became like a classic like uh, Holy Grail story, like to find like you know the X marks the spot treasure. Um, so it's basically just a disgruntled gamer uh, trying to overcome his phobia of the worst game of all time, and uh, we use one of the greatest game stories to do that. So um, he and I were talking about maybe doing that for one, a 100th uh, video game review. And uh, when we were chatting, I was just like, oh no, this is, a, this is a feature film. This is like an Indiana Jones style adventure. So uh, we went in that, with that direction. I'm, I'm really glad we did. How was the story process uh, work for this film? Because I understand that James used to be like always in every process of the, uh, the writing and the uh, filmmaking. So how did you share your time together and come up with ideas that was your own and as well as James? Yeah, well, James and I have been uh, creative partners since we were like 15, 16 years old. So we, we basically have like a very smooth and fluid working style. But a lot of it was basically him living in Philadelphia and me in Los Angeles. And I'd either fly to him, sit on his couch with his cats, and we'd all brainstorm together. Or he'd fly out with me. And, uh, or we'd do some Skypes. And uh, we basically just uh, came out with an outline that was kind of crazy and then started writing lines that were kind of crazy. And it went from there. It, it, because of that and because of our schedules, like him doing the Nerd series and me, I, I produced television in Los Angeles, it was such a slow process. And we must have had like 85 drafts. Uh, so it was just like two years of slowly just kind of banging it out. And then we finally got something that, that we think is pretty cool. Uh, how's your experience in American television series uh, was brought into this film? This is basically your first feature film, right? Yeah, yeah. So between the two of us, uh, we've done a lot of shorts, um, but never our feature, and something we've always talked about doing. Um, but the cool thing is, um, I was able to bring a little bit of like that big set experience. Mm -hmm. We had like four, four or more, you know, people. Uh, working for us at any day, at any time. Um, so the, the television producing side of it was just kind of a, a natural feeling for me, whereas James is working with a very small crew. Like it'll be him and like Mike Mate at, at most, and maybe an actor. Uh, so uh, it was good, good that we could kind of you know, work together and, and work off each other's different strengths and experiences. So uh, that worked out good. Was it always your intention, you and James, to create it in this sort of like trauma pictures esque, um, yeah, you I mean, know, the low very budget? Beginning. Yeah, yeah, we weren't gonna, we definitely weren't gonna let the fans down, and mm -hmm. I think if we if we would have done anything more or less, uh, we would have. But the, I think honestly, when we were talking the early drafts of the script, it was gonna be more. Like we were, we have. Um, Spoiler alert, I'm not going to say that. We have certain things, like we, we were going to have like more strings, like more obvious. We were going to go like way, way, way with it. And by the time we realized that we had all these visual effects artists involved that were so talented, we were like, we should probably utilize like these 80 talented people from around the world to make it like, you know, extra cool. So we ended up doing this really interesting blend of like really, um, you know, uh, fancy sound effects and like fancy visual effects uh, with some really low low budget practical and I think it makes it for an interesting style. Does this mean we can expect more from the nerd like uh, not just in maybe the series but like another sequel? Uh, that is TBD okay. uh, for sure. Uh, we definitely have talked about it. We've, we've thrown around a few ideas about what a sequel could be. Uh, but I think we both have like a film that isn't the nerd coming up first, um, and then maybe maybe something something real cool for a sequel. Any other projects that you might be working on in the future that we can expect? Yeah, there's a, there's like a comedy heist uh, that's in the works, and uh, a horror movie for sure that uh, James and I have discussed. Um, 
I think what we really need to do is just take a rest and then just see like what we're in the mood for um, and uh, go from there. Thank you.